It's 11 Trivia Questions on Where's Grandma? You're going to listen to this passage that I read you and see if you can tell what state this traveling grandma is visiting. This is Trivia with Buds. It be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. And uh, thanks for checking out the show. Comes out every day, so hit subscribe on your device to never miss an episode. There's over 500 to go back and check out if you want to binge listen on your next road trip or airplane flight or however you listen to the show. Uh, thank you for giving it a listen and a review on iTunes. If you have not done that yet and you've listened to the show for a while, that is one of the easiest, freest ways you can support the show. Head on over to iTunes, leave us a nice five-star review, tell people what you like about the show so more people can find it with their eyes and ears. Today's episode is called Where's Grandma? And uh, I took this from a book called 399 Games to Keep Your Brain Young. And you can find that book at any Barnes & Noble or on Amazon or what have you. I bought a used copy and uh, there's a third one. I have two of them. There's like two volumes and then there's a third one coming out this fall. So uh, very cool stuff. And I always kind of alter some of the questions to fit um, the senior communities that I do here in Southern California on a weekly and monthly basis. Uh, so we're going to have fun. I'm going to read you these little passages with some bullet points in them, and then you will uh, write down or yell out loud if you're playing by yourself or with somebody what state you think this grandma is visiting. So that'll be a ton of fun. If there's a certain topic you'd like to do on the show, if you're like, hey, how come you never do trivia on uh, Babylon 5? Um, I, I just have never done it, I don't think. But if you want me to, you can donate $5 or more over on patreon.com slash trivia with buds, and I will get to it eventually, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. And if you ever want to write questions, maybe you're like, you know what? I'll do you one better. I'll write you 10 Babylon 5 questions and send them to you, and you can record them. And I can do that too. Always looking for content for the show. So if you have ideas or you want to write questions, some people get a kick out of doing that. I would love to entertain those questions. Uh, we're going to jump into today's episode on where's grandma. Let's see if you can figure out where she's at all around the U.S. Here we go. All right, where's grandma number one? Let's see if you can figure this out. Grandma did some surfing at Big Sur, bought some bread at Fisherman's Wharf, and saw some ancient Greek and Roman art at the Getty. Question number one, where is Grandma? Question number two, Grandma took a wine tasting tour in the Finger Lakes, went for a boat ride on the Erie Canal, and bet on a couple of horses at the racetrack in Saratoga. Where's Grandma? Number two. Question number three, Grandma went to the beach at South Padre Island, visited the school book depository in Dealey Plaza, and saw a Cowboys football game. Where is Grandma? Question number four, Grandma went to a music festival on Beale Street, watched whiskey being made at the Jack Daniels Distillery, and took a guided tour of Graceland. Where might Grandma be? Number four. Question number five, Grandma toured the historic sailing ships at Mystic Seaport, played a little blackjack at Foxwoods, and saw a production of Hamlet at Yale. What state is Grandma in there? She's at Yale. Number five. Question number six, Grandma played some tennis at Mar-a-Lago, saw the auto races at Daytona, and swam with the manatees. Number six. Number six. Number seven, Grandma went to her grandson's graduation from Rutgers, visited Menlo Park, and won a poker tournament at the Trump Taj Mahal. Number seven, what state is Grandma in? Number seven. Question number eight, Grandma visited Warm Springs, took a boat tour of uh, Okefenokee Swamp, and watched a Braves game. Number eight, what state is Grandma in? Number eight. 
Question number nine. Grandma went to a film festival in Telluride, visited her niece at the Air Force Academy, and went skiing in Aspen. Number nine. Two more grandma traveling questions. Here's number 10. Grandma enjoyed three walks back in history at the Jamestown Settlement, at Colonial Williamsburg, and at the Civil War battlefield of Manassas. Number 10. And the bonus. For two points, Grandma went to the Coliseum, Venice Grand Canal, and the Eiffel Tower all in the same hour. What state was she in? Grandma went to the Coliseum, Venice Grand Canal, and Eiffel Tower all in the same hour. What state was she in? All right, a little bit of an easier episode today, but I like to do that every once in a while for new listeners of the show and maybe some senior listeners of the show. So uh, we'll be right back in a second with the answers to those states that Grandma was visiting. All right, guys, here are the answers to Where's Grandma in this Traveling Grandma episode. Number one, Grandma did some surfing at Big Sur and bought some bread at Fisherman's Wharf and saw some ancient Greek and Roman art at the Getty. She'd, of course, be in my state of California. Number one, question number two, Grandma took a wine tasting tour at the Finger Lakes, went for a boat ride on the Erie Canal, and bet on a couple of horses at a racetrack in Saratoga. She would be in New York. Number two. Number three, Grandma went to the beach at South Padre Island, visited the school book depository in Dealey Plaza, and saw a Cowboys football game. She's down in Texas, the uh, Dallas Cowboys. Number four, Grandma went to a music festival on Beale Street, watched whiskey being made at the Jack Daniels Distillery, took a guided tour of Graceland. She'd be in Tennessee, number four, or as people that live there say, Tennessee instead of Tennessee, like I would say. Number five, Grandma toured the historic sailing ships of Mystic Seaport, played a little blackjack at Foxwoods, and saw a production of Hamlet at Yale. That was Connecticut. Number five, Connecticut. Number six, Grandma played some tennis at Mar-a-Lago, saw the auto races at Daytona, and swam with the manatees. She'd be down in Florida. Number six. Number seven, Grandma went to her grandson's graduation from Rutgers, visited Menlo Park, and won a poker tournament in the Trump Taj Mahal. She's in Jersey, New Jersey, number seven. Number eight, Grandma visited Warm Springs, took a boat tour of Okafenoki Swamp, and watched a Braves game. She'd be in Georgia, Atlanta Braves. Number nine, Grandma went to a film festival in Telluride, visited her niece at the Air Force Academy, and went skiing in Aspen. She's in Colorado on that one. And number 10, Grandma enjoyed three walks back in history at the Jamestown Settlement, Colonial Williamsburg, and at the Civil War battlefield of Manassas. She's in Virginia. My wife would love to hang out with this grandma if she was there. And the bonus, Grandma went to the Coliseum, Venice Grand Canal, and the Eiffel Tower all in the same hour. Where was she at? She was in Nevada on the Vegas Strip. All that stuff is there to go visit replicas of and, uh, you know, much smaller, obviously. But you can kind of go see those and visit those in Nevada. That was today's episode, guys. Where's Grandma? Hope you had fun playing along with this one. Um, The seniors, I think, enjoyed it. I don't know. Ashley hosted it yesterday because I had three three events, busy Thursday, um, and it's always hard to tell if they actually like the questions or not sometimes. But maybe you did. And uh, maybe you want more of those. Check out this book, 399 um, Ways to Keep Your Brain Young by Nancy Lind. It's great stuff. Uh, It is time for the question of the day, brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs in San Dimas, California. Go uh, go to them for all your printing needs, fmdesignsinc.com, linked in the show notes. The uh, question of the day, what's the grandma's name in Moana? What is the grandma's name in Moana? Tweet me your answer at Ryan Buds or email ryanbuds at gmail.com to be eligible for a prize. Yesterday's question of the day answer was the Green Hornet. That's the colorful superhero that uh, Seth Rogen played. And your trivia team name of the day is Of Mice and Menopause, which was used not too long ago at one of my events. Of Mice and Menopause. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend about this show. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with Buds. And I should be back on track. We did three today. And uh, now we're back and all caught up on the show. Cheers. Thank you.